Okay, hi YouTube. Today I finished um, refurbishing my Dyson DC04. It's the brush control model, also um, the standard model to most people. Um, here's the tools. I've um, sorted the dusting brush out. It came came through the dishwashing. I went. It went through the dishwasher and came out like new. Basically, it looks very nice and clean. Everything I've wiped in there as well. That was filthy. That was really great. And God knows what. It was just, this thing was just sitting on the side of the road. Well, not side of the road, and outside of the doctors. Which is, um, you know, to be expected really. They wanted a new vacuum, is what they said. Now let's have a look at this. This, um, yeah, that's very nice. I've wiped that down. I've um, surprisingly, I, I wasn't expecting this to have this limp picker still there, because um, yeah, this is a very good condition, except it's half grey, half green. <sighs> That's what it's supposed to look like, and that's what it looks like currently, which is not supposed to look like that. Sadly, I managed to break off a couple of bits of plastic whilst refurbishing that. I'm going to have to try and glue that. I've lost those bits of plastic, but oh well, it doesn't affect performance. I won't be selling this anytime soon either. This is a keeper. Um, let's have a look here. The filters. I've washed the filters. They came through the washing machine and came out like new. Well, this one, this one did, yeah. Um, Light shines through that now. Hold on. Here, there we are. The trouble is, this filter here, it shrunk, which is really annoying. It shrunk, but it won't really affect performance to be like that much because there's a seal. There's a seal around there, so it will stop all those particles from going past it. Obviously, there's a new post filter in there as well. Well, there's a post mode filter from the D07 all floors. As well as the brush roll, I'll show you that in a minute. Pain to get the bin on these sometimes, it really is. Um, yeah, and this is also fixed. This look. This now springs, as you can see. Which is good. I've cleaned out all the ports as well. I took the whole thing apart and cleaned, cleaned everything. Except one side's got a real cap, and one of them doesn't. The one thing I really like about a DC04 is how the hose comes out. It's very easy to take the hose out. All you've got to do is press that little button there, and it should just pop right out. Is that in there properly? <laughs> yeah, it's in there properly. I thought it wasn't for a second. Um, the, the hose also came through the washing machine, like Beppo1987 does. I followed his DC04 strip down tutorial. Thank you, Beppo1987. Because, um, yeah, it really helped. It really did. The motor was covered in carbon, but the carbon brushes looked, well, amazing, really. I think, you can get a, I, think I can get a couple more years out of this thing. I'm going to use it as my main vacuum for, for a couple of months, maybe. Since I never use that anymore, that's kind of falling apart. The handle's missing. The switch, you sometimes got to give it a couple of goes to get it running. Anyway, I'll, I'll ramble on too much. Let's have a look at the brush bar. Yeah, I've switched the brush bar from um, the D07 all floors, as you can tell by the pink bristles. Not pink bristles, purple bristles. And the black brush bar. That was worn down as hell, that was. It's, it's, it's been heavily used at its previous place. I can't really get that to swivel. I, I, this went through the washing machine. It was fine when it came out, but now not so much. I took that seal out, you know the U-Bend seal. Right there, if it's going to focus. That was such a pain to put back on, I, I can't tell you how much of a pain that was. But, it's much easier to take apart and put back together again than a D07. D07s are a pain in the arse to fit the motor in the ha motor housing. But I can't tell you how much I struggled lining it up. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's it. Not much else to say in there really, except it's got its original cable. Everything's original on this, the motor's original, everything is. Hasn't been any replacements except the brush roll. That's the only thing I've replaced on it. And the crevice tool, because there, there was no crevice tool when I got it, so I gave it my DC1 crevice tool. But don't worry, I have, um, I've had um, two DC1 crevice tools. Um, I had one, I've, st I've still kept the crevice tool from my DC1 stand that I used to have. But when I got the DC1 stand I currently have now, it came with a crevice tool, so I gave that one to this one. So yeah, I'll, sh I'll show it to you running quickly. <coughs> Well, this video is either going to go well or isn't. I've had to redo this video so many times. Thankfully, I, ha I haven't used it at all since, and I haven't actually tested it yet. 
one thing I really hate about bco 4s is the way the cord hook is designed. It really is annoying. Why didn't I do that? Who knows? Let's let's give it a test. I haven't tested it yet. <clears throat> I left everything to dry for about a day. Which is good. Right. Now here we go, let's give it a go. <laughs> It all done now. I only vacuumed there yesterday with my D07 Origin, and it's already managed to pick up all that, which is good. That's not bad. Not a good, not a bad start. Very good. And it's got very good clutch in it as well. I've um, wiped that all down. Looks pretty nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come of this vacuum cleaner.